Jason Chow, what's up everybody? All right, we're in Mega Mart. We're gonna try to do some on the sly filming. Usually this thing doesn't get noticed when it's on my shoulder. I just look like a tech geek. So <clears throat> I'm one of the only people that have a full actual like tour video in here of like the entire place. So that's what we're gonna try to do again. This is pretty much the Costco of Saigon. It's the largest grocery store in Saigon. Start off down here. You can get pitchers, tumblers. So far, camera's doing well. Undetected. All oh, these, I need to get some of these for at home. Not today though. I'm playing wounded today. Banchan had me messed up, man. And we got drinks down here. So you can buy stuff in bulk. You can buy boxes. This is where we do all the orphanage purchases for. I think we spent over $5,000 here just to, for the orphanages. They do not give me any discount. Sometimes I get some of the formula places to kick in some toys and stuff, but for the most part. Uh, sparkling water. This is what Top G's drink. As you can see, you can buy Coke, Sprite, beer. <clears throat> and it usually lists if you buy more than one case, you can start to get a cheaper deal. There's a Heineken girl here. So a case of Heineken's 433. And then hard liquor. I'm not much of a drinker. Oh, we made it past one security guy. So far, we're winning. I think as long as you're not holding it in your hand, you can get away with it. <clears throat> so wine, a lot of uh, expats come here for wine. They have a tremendous wine selection. And there's a cereal aisle. As you can see, they've got Fruit Loops, Cocoa Checks, Corn Flakes, Tricks, Tricks are for Kids, Frosted Flakes. I don't eat cereal, so not really my thing. And you got Cracker Snacks over here. Oreos. Again, shit I don't eat. They got a pretty good bread uh, section, but it's always too much. Like, look how big these loaves of breads are. Like, 900 pieces. Like, again, it's for... Set up for if you have a, a restaurant, too. You can come here and buy all your stuff for the restaurant. They usually have hot dog buns here and hamburger buns. So stuff like that you can get here. Let's see. Oh. And they have pitas. If I remember right, these might be the pizza. This is the pizza dough. So you can make little pizzas. It's not bad in a pinch. I would just recommend making your own pizza dough. And they've got banh mi's. And then they've got a rotisserie section. So this is all the rotisserie. Li Chang. Let's go over to the dairy. I'll show you the cheese and the meats once they're done. So I came here for today for stuff like this. Like I've been eating a lot of bacon, BLTs. So like, get a big pack of this. You can get pretty decent bacon. And let me show you their meats. <clears throat> then I'll show you all the different cheeses. They have a lot of, uh, Imported cheese as well, imported meats. Mortadella, which is a uh, bologna. Uh, they got chorizo, which is 56K for 100 grams. That's pretty good. Might get some of that. You got pate, different cheeses. 
<coughs> a lot of soft cheese. Cheddar. I'll show you, they got a really good section just for cheese. Today's the busy day. Man, I came and filmed purposely on this day to blend in and not get attacked for filming here. It's almost impossible to pull out a camera and try to frame it full film. This is minced pork, if you want minced pork. They actually have good minced beef here. There's no chunks of fat and weird shit in it. She's got cheese sausage over here. Let's try cheese sausage. Okay. Here's a sausage. Meh. Cold. It's okay. There's usually ground beef over here. Oh, it's over here, I'll show you. You can get steaks though. Not cheap. 790k for a steak. Oh no, these aren't bad. These two are. These two steaks is 300k. Twelve dollars. All kinds of different cuts of beef as well. So if you want to make, you know, like uh, Italian beef or stuff like this, they've got big rumps, as you can see. Big cuts. So if you want to make stews, traditional American food. The ground beef does not look that good today. It's a little brown already. But they don't put any preservatives or additives or anything in, so. And then as you can see, they've got the whole pig hanging back here. They slaughter in-house. They bring in the whole animal and they slaughter in-house. This is grain-fed, which I do like grain-fed. I'm not a big grass-fed guy. I like my beef the way it should be with the grain. I know grass is healthier, but that's just the way I like it. Understandable if you like it. There's some good marbling on this one. This is Wagyu, probably from, uh, if it's Wagyu, it's most likely from Australia, which I don't like that much. Australian Wagyu has nothing on Japanese Wagyu. For the most part, when you wanna eat a, a Wagyu, you wanna have it pretty much raw, close to it. A, a, a light sear on each side of maybe 10 seconds. So here's chicken. They've got all kinds of different chickens. You can get whole chickens here. You can get uh, torn apart chickens. Here's the whole chickens down here. They always cut the ass off. How much is a whole chicken? Let's see. I don't see the price. 119, so not bad. And then they have the black duck. More, more snack foods to try. They got Arnam in here? Oh no, they've got Montclair. Hold on, I'll show you. So they're, they're starting, they're, they've been doing this more and more lately. They're starting to carry more and more foreign stuff. So like for this chorizo, this is a good deal. Like not a bad deal at all. And they got uh, Merguez sausage, Toulouse sausage, Cheapo sausage. These aren't cheap though. 150k. And they've got actual like uh, smoked Western style Franks, which for a packet of those is 145k. And then they have pate from like, you know, France style pate. And there's like proper ham. The cold cut. This is all Vietnamese stuff, different kind of buns. As you can see, everything's on a large scale. They've got kimchi down here. She's got more sausages. Let's try another sausage. Xin chào. Mm. Here, here. Okay. Come on in. Got some salami over here. Looks like. I don't know which kind it is, though. So. We got like a little full ham here, too. Definitely do something with this. Oh, it is. How much are they? No price. 115k. I don't like the Vietnamese salami. I like Milano. And then all the different pork products. I mean, you've got all the different kind of hams you could possibly want. I do like some of these hams. <clears throat> really, I've been on a bacon kick lately. And I've just been getting, just been having a big BLT with a salad for my one meal. We're talking like a seven, eight piece bacon, a lot of lettuce, big, big sandwich, and then with a pretty decent sized salad. I'd say somewhere right around 1200 calories. This is about what I intake per day right now. 
I have a pretty, it's, it's as much food as I can eat. I eat it at like five, and that keeps me full pretty much till the next day around five. I mean, you can get so much different stuff. A lot of stuff you've never even seen before. Like these look like regular hot dogs. I don't know what they taste like. Winner instead of wiener. 129K for that, so roughly $5. Now that the American's so strong to the dong, it's pretty good. These I haven't seen before. Some kind of Saigon smoked sausage. And those are 80, so around three bucks. And then this stuff's super popular, this sausage. They usually cut this up and put this in their ramen, their ramen. Ramen is very, very popular here. I think Korea is the top consumer, Japan second, and then I think somewhere around third or fourth is Vietnam. Come on in. Milk. So this is definitely an aisle that I frequent when we're doing something for the orphans. I buy many boxes of this milk. If you want to see any of the orphanage stuff, there's a playlist now, so you can go to the playlist. You can see all the money get spent properly and all the things get bought. So this is one of my favorite aisles. This is the cheese aisle. And as you can see, it's set up for like, you know, pretty much a restaurant to come in here and buy cheese. Let me tilt the camera down a little bit. So burger slices. We might end up picking up one of these because these don't go bad for quite a while. My buddy buys these big ones. He said there's cottage cheese here. So, Mark, if there's not cottage cheese here, I'm gonna kill you. It's one of the things we came for. He said Vietnam has their own Viet Vietnamese cottage cheese, so check it out. Let's see. So six, good before 624, so a year. This will last. So this is not a bad, a bad purchase. This is a 267, so four, eight, 10 bucks for enough cheese for a year, which that really is like enough cheese for a year. And they've got white, white cheddar. A whole brick of this natural fomai is 500K, about 20 bucks. And they've got these, these cheddar blocks. These are 220K. So. Smoked cheese over here. And we've got a Gouda wheel. We've got a Gouda wheel down here. Now this is what I use for mac and cheese, Gouda. It makes a delicious mac and cheese. So like this is the same price as it was two years ago when I was here last time. 255K for a huge chunking corner. This will last you forever. I had mine in the freezer. I ended up using it over like a year and a half. And it never went bad. If you stick it right in the freezer right away, pull it out when you need it, chop off a chunk, what you're gonna use. Bob's your uncle. They've got feta cheese here. We've got cheddar cheese, mozzarella. A whole tub of feta, so if you've got some kind of uh, Mediterranean restaurant. What do we got here? Padano, isn't that like, uh, I think this is like a, uh, pretty much like a Parmesan. It's a substitute for Parmesan. Parmesan's expensive here, they have to import it. Still not seeing this cottage cheese he was talking about. Better not be hustling me, boy. So a big block of mozzarella. This anchor stuff's okay, it's not the best. Uh, what is this? Fromago, kinda like a Parmesan cheese as well. Fuelis, and Parmesan Reggiano, like actual Parmesan Reggiano. 400K for this little sliver. That shows you how expensive Parmesan is. I stopped using it, it just costs too much. Mozzarella mini. And then here's the good mozzarella. They've even got the ricotta over here. 100K for one thing of ricotta. Uh, in my lasagna, I don't use ricotta. If I have access to cottage cheese, I think it tastes better than the ricotta. So we'll see if we can find it. Okay, so now we're over to the butter side. Butter used to be not as easy to get. Now they've really, since COVID, amped up the amount of butter coming in. And it's pretty affordable. Like, you can get this salted butter blend for 60K, which is not bad. That's about $2, $2.5. All the different kinds of butter, salted, unsalted, true butter. This true company has become very big here over the past few years. It's a Vietnamese company. Whipping cream, so all kinds of cooking needs. If you want to cook something with heavy cream, they've got it. 
Still not seeing cottage cheese, Mark. I got, I'm kind of going to just move the camera around for what we're looking at. I got to watch the battery, too, because we're going to have to swap out. This might be like a 45-minute video as well. Did we miss some cheese over here? Looks like we missed some cheese over here. Some gorgonzola. So pretty much any kind of cheese you want, especially on a large scale if you've got a, a business or your restaurant, this is a pretty good place to come get stuff. This dude's cart is jam-packed. So I'm not going to do my shopping until I turn the camera off. I want to shoot the video first, make sure I could shoot a video without getting interrupted from the security that usually comes. If you're holding a camera, you will last about 30 seconds before security will come and get you. So if you do want to film here, you got to do what I do. Figure out a way to kind of make it so it's not apparent that you're filming. I just look like a dude that's talking to myself, maybe a little crazy. So yogurt, 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 all natural Greek, 200K for a tub of it, 136 for the smaller one. You can do a lot of things with Greek yogurt. You can almost substitute it for sour cream. It's pretty close. I think I was hustled on the cottage cheese though. Did not see that anywhere. Nope. So, so far what I'm gonna be picking up is bacon. I'll show you other stuff. The seafood section is actually pretty great. I'll probably pick up Winnie something for dinner at the seafood section. I'll take a picture right now actually and see what she wants. I do like filming on the shoulder rig. It's so much easier to have like your hands free, you know? Oh, this fucking phone is a piece of shit though. <laughs> It restarts like every 20 minutes now. We blast this text off to my absolutely gorgeous and wonderful wife and companion. She's with me for the thin of it and the thick of it, the good and the bad. She's always there. More good times than bad times, but that's what a true woman is made of if they stick around when shit's not great. We got some lobsters over here. A couple of fish. You can actually catch the stuff on your own, which is kind of cool. It definitely smells like a bad JJ. Got some fish over here. A lot of prawns. Some crab, blue crab over here. This is where they process it and package it for you. I like seafood when I'm on the sea. I don't like seafood when I don't watch it come out of the sea. Pretty simple guy like that. Uh, I'm very sensitive to seafood. I do not like when it gets what I call seafood gamey, where it tastes very seafoody. And that's usually when it's taken out of the ocean, put on ice and shipped somewhere. That is not my kind of seafood. Probably never will be. It's just not what I'm into. It's not what I'm vibing on. So that's the seafood section. Pretty curious section. You can get all, all kinds of smoked salmon. Let me show you the smoked salmon. The salmon I usually don't like here that much. They sometimes have some good cuts. A lot of times when you look at the salmon, it looks dyed. It looks like they've added color to it. It just doesn't look like the type of salmon you would want to buy. So they've got smoked salmon over here. This salmon, I don't know where it says it's from. It's probably from Norway though. A lot of our salmon comes from Norway. It's pretty good salmon. I do not like Vietnamese salmon at all. It tastes totally different. I kind of prefer the Norway salmon. So this is one of the, the hottest areas too, is the produce section. I will be doing some shopping here. I will be getting some lettuce. I will be getting, I actually eat a lot of salad per day. Like I said, I have a big salad, but it has a lot of things in it. I put radish in it, I put cucumber, I put carrots. I put a lot of stuff in it. So I'm getting a lot of the vegetable groups when I eat my salad. And I alternate between like a ranch sometimes, I'll make a Thousand Island sometimes, uh, a balsamic vinegar, sometimes just oil and vinegar, all depends. So these are for hot pots, for Thai style and Vietnamese hot pots. That's why you see them packaged like that. They even add a chili for you on there. They've got packaged garlic. So everything here, when you get your produce, you need to have it weighed before you go pay for it. So you take it, you get it weighed by the lady over there. So do not.
All right, the battery died at some point. I don't know where the battery died at, so we'll go back and film the produce after we do the frozen and the canned goods. Hold on. Click in here. All right, so this is all the frozen stuff. They've got all kinds of different stuff here. Ice cream, Kit Kat. I mean, any kind of ice cream you can think of, they've got it now. Ice cream, there was ice cream before, but there's just much more now. They add more and more Western stuff as the years go by. So, all kinds of different ice cream. I don't eat ice cream, so not my thing, but whatever you want, they've got it ice cream wise. And of course, as we head over to this section, they've got a ginormous amount of Vietnamese food. So like all the different spring rolls, rolls, egg roll type deals. Egg rolls are not a thing here. They're a little bit different. Fomai sticks, which is cheese sticks. They're very popular here, cheese sticks. Every fast food restaurant has a form of cheese stick. Different kinds of frozen seafood. My wife likes these. Do, do, do. All kinds of just different frozen Viet stuff. And it looks like fried chicken. I haven't seen this before. Frozen fried chicken. And frozen squid uh, rings and then frozen chicken nuggets. Let me take you over to the other side. There's usually the pizza ladies are here making freshetta pizzas. They're usually set up right here. Oh, that guy's got a gang kids. So here's the freshettas. This is the this is new, this Pepe Mario. Freshetta. Again, I don't eat frozen pizza, so I can't tell you. I think I had one freshetta once during lockdown. It was disgusting. These Ristorette Dr. Odeker are uh, Australian. Never had one of those because they just cost too much. They're pretty much 200K for one pizza. You can buy an actual pizza from a restaurant from that for that here. More pizza bases. Bread. Hot pot, goat hot pot. Buns, more buns, more buns, more frozen things. More frozen uh, dim sum. Dim sum's really popular here too. Mandu, this is all Korean frozen stuff from CJ Foods, which is a Korean arm. I'm trying to cover this all. I'm walking really weird if somebody saw me. I'm pretty obvious. And that's kind of the frozen section. So let me take you over to here where you'll find this is pretty interesting. Look how much extra virgin olive oil you can get. And it's very affordable. Um, let me kind of just move this guy's cart over so I can show you. So for this 5L, I think five liters of the La Extra, it's 800K. I mean, that's pretty good. Three liters is 500K. And if you look at like, so look what just, you know, one liter is 189. It almost makes zero sense to get one liter. I mean, that's enough olive oil forever. And olive oil does expire. So I'll show you some more stuff. Again, they've got canned tomatoes and gigantic things, which makes just a whole lot more sense to buy. The regular canned is 33. For this gigantic one, which is like six of them, it's 140. They've got Heinz tomato paste in a gigantic vat. So if you're cooking on a large scale, it makes sense to come here. They've got every pasta you can think of, as you can see, as we go down the line. If you want really different kind of pastas, Anna Market has all that stuff for you. So they've got this stuff. I don't know what a lot of this shit is. So what's the Metro Chef? The Metro Chef EVOO 5 liters is 795. So 8, 16, 20, $32. For pretty much like, if that's you and, and, and like your wife, that's a year plus supply, maybe two years. <clears throat> pickles, gherkins. It's very tough to find pickles, like regular Western pickles that aren't gherkins, outside of the American grocery store I showed you. I will put the address for this place, although all you have to do is type into Google Maps is Mega Mart, and it'll just pop right up. 
a little bit of cookies, foreign cookies and stuff. Pate, why you would ever get any pate outside of Vietnamese pate, I don't know. I think Vietnamese pate is absolutely delicioso, so, so good. So let's take a look at the rest of the frozen section because we only did a little area of it. The Tabasco sauce, popular here. It's been popular here for a long time. What we got here? Frozen fish, different kinds of frozen fish, frozen sausages, frozen synthetic crab, uh, frozen snacks, more Vietnamese frozen snacks, fish balls, lots of different fish balls. <coughs> lots of different fish balls. All the fish balls in all the world. And then what's this area over here? I think this is the Thai food over here. Let's check it out. Yeah, this is Thai food if I remember right. Thai seasoning, Thai stuff, yeah. Thai curries, canned Thai food. Just Thai stuff. I'm not really a big Thai food guy. I think most people know that that watch my channel. Curries, these look like yeah, rural Thai. So if you need different kinds of Thai curries, they have them all here. I do like red curry, it's one of the things I do like. I like a red Thai curry is pretty good. So Thai, Thai, Thai. And then they have Thai ramen as well. Well, let's go over to the ramen aisle. And we'll finish up that little bit of frozen section over there. So this is Korean ramen. So all down here is Korean ramen. So every kind of Korean ramen you could think of, they've got it. You can get some different flavors here that are pretty difficult to find other where, in other places. But this is like the Korean aisle down here. So stuff from Korea. For if, if you're wanting Korean products, go to K-Market. They have everything and they're all over now. And then they have a small Japanese section. It's about two shelves. But you can get like all the different uh, soyu sauce. Wasabi! I hate this wasabi, it's disgusting. I use a 50-50 uh, blend, it's pretty expensive, but uh, it's well worth it and it, it lasts for two years, so. One little thing of it I'll buy is like 500K, but it lasts for two years. And you got beans. Baked beans are pretty popular here, which you would never really think. Tuna and sunflower oil. Tuna chunks and olives. Tuna chunks and olives. Sounds delicious. I already cut tuna into my olives. Or olives into my tuna. I don't want less salt though. Give me that sodium, baby. I'm amazed at how well this camera's doing. No one has given me any shit. I've fully been able to film. Which is tremendous. I was going to do a walking vlogger out here. Oh, she's got her ass cheeks out. Ash treaks. And then Spam is 100K, which is the unilateral price. I actually really like this uh, Hormel, the Hormel one now. I think it's the, the Hormel. And they got some seasoning, taco seasoning. It's pretty expensive. Heinz apple cider vinegar, Bragg's apple cider vinegar, Heinz ketchup, Heinz mustard. Crystal steak sauce. They get a lot of crystal products, which is like the Walmart uh, shit brand, right? Tabasco sauce. Chips and salsa are very popular here. It's one of the like emerging products. Tomato ketchup in a big vat. If I was to make a product here and try to sell it and bottle it, I'd make salsa. Salsa is crazy expensive. It's like 150k for a little tiny shitty jar of it. So this. So we're dealing with the overheating camera. So I'm gonna have to refilm stuff or stuff that we missed, I'm sorry. I don't know why the camera's overheating, it is. We might have even lost data files. This camera never overheats, but they don't have any aircon in here. So we'll briefly go back through all the things I think I have on camera, but not sure. <clears throat> Here's the rice aisle. They've got all the different kind of rices. We're gonna go back over to the nationality aisles real quick. 
recover that. I just have to constantly check the camera and see that it's filming. So these are international aisles. This is European and America. All the oils are over here, Vietnamese oil. They've got them in all different sizes and ranges. They've got all kinds of different products from Europe on these shelves. This is the Europe aisle. Quickly go through this before the camera turns off again and I possibly lose another file size. Here's the Western market. Lots of Heinz products, uh, potato chips, ketchup, spice, spices, spam, Heinz. Heinz has established itself pretty well here. All the Korean uh, ramen is down here. All the ramen stuff. Am I still blinking? Still blinking. It sucks that the camera's overheating, but not a lot I can do about it. Down here is evaporated milk and coffee. Everything you can got buy on extremely large scales too, as well. So this is all the sweets and treats down here. Uh, Oreo cookies, cookies, cream pies, cream bags, all that stuff. So fish sauces down here, all the different kinds of fish sauces, soya sauces, the different seasonings that the Vietnamese use, the mushroom base, the beef base, the pork stock base, all these different spices they use to cook with. MSG, you've got bags and bags of MSG, the greatest thing ever to add to any recipe to make it taste that much better. You've got sugar as well. You've got sweet and low, sweetener, all the different uh, chili sauces, all the different packets for making stuff, spaghetti sauce, Vietnamese style, more seasoning, Vietnamese seasonings. You can find a lot of Vietnamese seasonings that are American seasonings if you convert it into Vietnamese and know how to read it. Different kinds of spice packs as well. We're going pretty quick because the camera is having difficulties in this hot place of overheating constantly, so. This is more flour, stuff like this. Cooking stuff, uh, panko crust, uh, Vietnamese ramen. So this is where all the Vietnamese ramen is. You can buy it in boxes, like I said. Uh, Vietnamese pasta, all the different kind of noodles Vietnamese use for different cooking, pho noodles, glass noodles, all kinds of different stuff. Uh, I don't like Vietnamese ramen that much. I never eat it. I'm going to have ramen, which is very rarely. It'll be Korean usually. I like the spicy Korean. Oh, a couple of cute girls. Let's try to get a thumbnail. Always on that thumbnail. Uh, Snacks are down here, sweets, uh, candies, all different kind of candies, box, Snickers, all that stuff. This has got cookies down here, other little snacks. Still recording, slides, chips, different Vietnamese chips, so all the different kind of Vietnamese chips that you could possibly uh, want. We've even got some more uh, Tosita chips down here. Cheetos are very popular here, Doritos have become very popular, and chips and salsa have become very popular here as well. I mean, I wish this camera would stop turning off. I, I don't know what footage we got, we didn't, what we lost, what we didn't lose. Because it doesn't even make a noise. It just literally overheats and turns off. These are the woes of being a YouTuber. We already covered this. This is the alcohol section you can buy in bulk. And then everything here is like Costco. So like, if you want laundry detergent, you can buy a, a fucking tub of it, a literal bucket of it. Uh, same with uh, uh, clothes laundry detergent. All that stuff. Look how much of it is here. It's just forever, like, huge, gigantic amounts. This is the formula aisle. We've seen this a hundred times if you watched any of my orphanage uh, GoFundMe project stuff. This is where we buy the formula. Already seen that a ton. Don't need to see it again. Toilet cleaning supplies. More cleaning supplies down here. More cleaning supplies down here. Everything in bulk. And then accessories for cleaning. Mops, different kind of mops, garbage bags, uh, sponges, all this different stuff. Literally, this is a place where you can get all your household goods in one area. And then we kind of move it into the appliance section where they have like a steamer, a hand steamer, uh, all kinds of different stuff, as you can see. Racks, you know, hangers, everything. Plateware is down here, glasses, and then they have a power tool aisle as well. So you can get a drill if you need a drill. If you need a vacuum, they've got a vacuum. If you need a, a water vacuum, they've got a water vacuum. They literally have everything here. Hampers, bins. This is like a one-stop shop that you can pretty much get everything at. There's a car accessory aisle. There's a helmet aisle. There's an oil aisle. 
So they've got oil cleaning supplies for your car, things like this, cutting boards. I mean, literally everything. Saran wrap on the large, huge professional scale. So if you're gonna be covering stuff. If you're a guy that cooks or you're like a food YouTuber, this is the place to come buy all your stuff. Different kinds of Tupperware, spoons, knives, forks, Tupperware, Tupperware, pans, everything you could possibly think of. Pots, it's all here. They got a whole rice cooker aisle. They've got uh, air fryer, which has become very popular here. 3.4 for this one. I think this is the one uh, Kwong uses. I'm sure Kwan's a frequent flyer here, but I think Hawanko is the one he, he uses. Huge rice cookers too, like they got tremendous sized ones. Uh, uh, induction burners, gas burners. This looks like a dishwasher? Oh, UV sterilizer. Completely worthless. You don't need to UV sterilize your dish. COVID was a scam. <laughs> No, I'm joking. So all different kinds of burners, induction burners. Let's see. And it goes on and on. Juicer, terrible investment. You have to clean it. You stop using it after the third or fifth time. 90% of users do. Then they've got a closed section down here, towels, other things like this. I want to stroll back over to the end here and cover the uh, cheese and meats one more time just in case I missed anything. And then that's going to wrap it up for a complete 4K Mega Mart tour. I'm going to actually pause filming here to record this video to make sure. Okay, we're back. So I'm having to do what I did with the ZV-1 when it had issues. This one's just overheating, so it's nothing broken in the camera like what happened with the ZV-1, which took me a while to figure out, but the spring wore out for the battery in the ZV-1. So it didn't have enough pressure held against the door to keep the battery connecting to the camera to power it. So I remedied that by just adding a little piece to the battery to make it thicker. So then now, okay, we're back. This camera's being weird. I had just turned it on to record and it turned off in like a second. So yeah, this camera's overheating and when it overheats, it acts really wonky. I can't help it. There's no air con in this place. It's not hot, but I'm shooting in 4K and I just shot a hour video on it on the motorbike. So it's probably just running through the paces too long. I'm on its second hour of filming straight. So it's probably just tired. My ZV-1 had issues. Hold on, let's go down here. I'm trying to get this chick through something. Hopefully, hopefully. It's all about the thumbnail. All about the base. So I want to take you through the bread section, the meat section one more time. So uh, this is supposed to be a complete guide of this market that'll hopefully have lots of views at some point. No one's done a full walking tour of here lately with a camera because like I said, the second you pull it out, they pretty much come at you like instantaneously. I don't know if I'm gonna buy anything here. The line to check out is like massive. So here's the banh mi they've got. And then they've got uh, all right, we got 10 minutes left on the car and I had to take the camera, stick it in the freezer for 10 minutes and cool it down because the reheat, the heating up and restarting was just getting, <clears throat> I couldn't film for a minute. Hopefully all the footage is there. This camera does a better job of recovering footage than the Sony does when it turns off. So they've got fried chicken here, lechon, all this different stuff. They've got mortadella, they've got, you know, exotic cuts of cold cuts as well here. They got bruschettas, all kinds of stuff. As far as cold cuts go, I still like to go to Anam for that. It's a little bit more pricey, but they have a lot of stuff that I like. They've got your grass-fed whatever bullshit burgers if this is what you want. I never recommend buying a prepackaged patty. Then it looks like they put out some nicer beef. Yes, they did. Put out much more friendlier looking beef than the uh, red stuff that's been sitting for a while. So we're gonna go grab a, I think they have a hand basket. So we'll go look, buy some bacon. The wife wants one kg of the seafood that's on sale. So we'll try to do that for her. Gotta bag it up like 400 times. So we'll get a kg of these, this is what she wants. I'm not gonna spend much here. I plan to spend probably around 300K. I just need bacon. Bread I get at the Korean bakery at 
uh, Golden Rivers. It's got delicious uh, multi-grain bread. I actually like multi-grain. I like white too. I don't have a problem with either of them. Let's see if they have a hand cart. I don't want a full cart. I have not seen anybody with a hand cart, so it's not a particularly good sign of them having one. The lines are insane. Crazy. Well, everybody's here on Sunday, so it's to be expected. I don't see any kind of hand cart action. I think we got like a 40 minute video in here though, all together, 45 minute. I think we did pretty much a full tour of everything you can get here. Also, they've got dog food. Pedigree. Pedigree puppy mix. If you got a pups. Stage two, three to 18 and adult. Yeah, I don't see any hand baskets. It's weird. There must be some kind of like mentality that we want you to uh, uh, get a cart so you buy more stuff. And a hand basket might limit your brain to thinking, just get what I need in the hand basket. It's kind of like a marketing style deal. So we're gonna finish out this last bit of this tour down here. I didn't show you this too much about this section to talk about. They got chairs, storage containers, helmets. I don't know what I got on camera, so if there's repeating of stuff, it's because I don't know what's on camera and what's not, so don't come at me. Pillows, blankets. There's a fly killer, electrified, very popular here. High quality pots for induction. Induction, induction. Water. So if you take a big water jug and you got a water jug or it's a purifier, some of these. And then they have the beauty section, cosmetic section and textiles over here. And that is a complete tour of Mega Mart in 2022 at the end of the year. So I don't know of anyone else that's done a full tour so that's it. If you made it all the way to this to the end of the video, say induction sucks, because it does suck. I'd rather have gas. Induction sucks. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you for watching. Stay frosty. See you on the next one. Peace out.